The work goes on in Cobb County to clear this deadly fiery crash on I-75 near Chastain Road. This is video from a Snapchat user who could see the scene from the access road. At least one person was killed in the wreck with the northbound lanes blocked for more than five hours at this point. This is what it looked like from our traffic cameras. You can see smoke high into the air. A semi caught fire and more than a dozen other cars were also involved. Crash Clark joins us live from I-75. Crash, what else have you learned about what happened and how much longer until the interstate would be back open? Well, Cheryl, that's where we are right now. We're off that access road, Busby Parkway right here. Behind me is the scene of the wreck, and we are now hearing from Cobb PD that this is up to 20 vehicles that were involved. Unfortunately, as you mentioned, one fatality here at the scene. Numerous cars actually caught on fire. This is some of the video that we have from the DOT cameras, and I was actually on the scene about a half hour ago and took a few pictures, and then I took a little bit of video. Some of these vehicles just absolutely destroyed. Uh, the PIO here, the, the public information officer for Cobb County, informs us that rain may have played a factor, not, uh, not actually speed, but these vehicles that were just entangled in this wreck and several of them catching fire. And again, we mentioned one fatality. Now, 75 northbound has been completely shut down for almost six hours now between Barrett Parkway and Chastain Road. We just heard from Cobb PD on the scene that they are getting ready to reopen the interstate. Right now, it's still shut down. There are still several vehicles here, emergency responders, but we watched as they towed away several vehicles that were heavily damaged, including tractor trailers and some burned out vehicles that just really looked like a terrible scene. They're still trying to sweep some of the debris away from the roadway here again. 75 northbound remains shut down. I was instructing folks on Twitter to head over to Cobb Parkway. That's how I got up here, and it took me about an hour and a half from Sandy Springs. So it is still a nightmare out here as far as the roads are concerned. The investigation just about wrapped up Cheryl but in the meantime 75 northbound still closed as far back as 575 they're diverting traffic and Cobb Parkway is a mess and the rain continues to fall out. Wow here. it could be a while longer 20 cars crash appreciate the update thanks so much.